Hi, this is Mike Levine from PickupTrucks.com, and we're here at General Motors Milford Proving Grounds for our 2008 half-ton shootout. What we're doing here is a split mu test. Mu is a measure of friction on any type of surface. So we've got three surfaces we're gonna measure against. We've got an asphalt surface, we've got this white tile, it's as slippery as an icy road, and then we have this blue tile. The blue tile is slippery as a snowy road. We're gonna take each of the trucks, we're gonna run them with one wheel here, one wheel here, and we're measuring wheel slip between the two surfaces. So on the slippery surface, we're gonna see the rear wheels slip more than on the other surface. We wanna see how each truck handles that situation. Traction control does two things when it senses a truck slipping on a surface. It cuts engine power and applies the brakes to help stop the wheel that's spinning, enabling the wheel opposite the spinning one to gain traction. Because most full-size pickup trucks are rear-wheel drive and the bulk of their weight is positioned in the front half of the vehicle, trucks can lose traction more easily than other vehicles, particularly in icy conditions. The new Ford F-150 and Toyota Tundra perform best in this test. They were the only two trucks to make it off the slippery surface without having to stop and engage four-wheel drive. We judge the F-150's traction control system to be superior to the Tundra's. The F-150's wheels slipped, but the truck was able to cut throttle smoothly to enable it to virtually walk off the surface. The Tundra cut power to the engine too, but more aggressively than the F-150. It took pushing the accelerator all the way down to the floor to keep the engine power up while the Tundra slowly crawled up the surface. Both the Tundra and F-150 had limited slip rear differentials. They were also the two heaviest trucks that we tested, which probably helped in this test. The rest of the trucks in our group were very challenged by this test. The Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra both had locking mechanical rear differentials that engaged automatically when wheel slip hit a certain RPM. While both pickups did excellent in our autocross test, they were challenged by the very wet and slippery surface that we were on. Both required putting the trucks into four-wheel drive high to get off the surface. The Dodge Ram 1500 also required the use of four high to get off the slippery tile. But like the Ford F-150 and Tundra, it also used a limited slip rear differential. To us, this was proof that extra weight and excellent anti-slip logic can make a big difference getting a truck out of slick conditions. The Nissan Titan was the most challenged by this test. When its electronic locking rear differential wasn't engaged because we were using two-wheel drive, the rear differential operated as an open diff, meaning that there was no way to shift power between wheels when one wheel started to slip. The Titan's engine quickly hit close to the red line and it began to slip backwards as it struggled to figure a way off the hill. Finally, we had to cut power and engage four-wheel drive to drive up the hill. What you've just seen is a small part of the 2008 PickupTrucks.com half-ton shootout. For more information and videos of our tests, and to find out our pick for the best overall 2009 half-ton pickup, visit PickupTrucks.com.